Here is a step-by-step -step simple guide on how to live the kingdom way. Step number one, you make Jesus the Lord of your life, the king of your heart. That means only he sits on the throne of your heart, not you, not this, not that, not them. That means Jesus calls all the shots from the inside out. You consult him, his word. All other directors, dictators, opinions, and feelings are permanently, guess what, off the throne. Yes, even the entertainment world and the government, if they say killing unborn babies is civilized, you choose rather to believe on Jesus and stand for morality with your vote, with your dollars, with your decisions, everything. If academia and a thousand PhDs tells you that they know better how to raise your child, you still believe that Jesus prioritizes your family and he knows better how to keep them from all the craziness. You perceive and acknowledge Jesus on the throne of every choice, decision, and turn in life. That's what making Jesus Lord of your life means. Now, step two, you learn the language of God's kingdom. You gotta know the language, it's faith. That's the kingdom way. So, how can you take direction from a king if you don't know his language? That makes sense. Shared understanding is knowing God understands you, but you need to understand him. Faith is the language of God, and faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. That's in Romans 10, verse 17. Faith, this unseen force of God, is the substance. It's the title deed to the revealed, the promises, the blessings, the outcome. And you've heard me say this many times, repetition determines your persuasion. Repetition determines your persuasion. That becomes your faith, whether for good or for bad. Now, step three, you gotta work patience and expectation over and over and over. You must let patience have her perfect work, James 1, 4 says. It's part of growing you up and then you're lacking nothing and a, your, your patience becomes a prerequisite to you lacking nothing and being fully equipped. You must exercise expectation in God because it pleases God. That's what Hebrews 11, 6 says. Without faith, it's impossible to please God for he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Look, it's not enough just to believe God is. You must discover and learn that he is your rewarder. When you please him, that pleases him that you just expect of him. That requires working patience into expectations, seeing it fulfilled because it pleases God. And then step four, finishing all the way around the clock, God honors you. God the Father didn't put Jesus on the throne of your heart not to honor you. You are called to be a child of God. That's royalty, but you must be trained for kingdom of God living. The reward of humility and the worship of God is guess what? Riches, honor, and life. You can see that in Proverbs 22, verse four. Jesus scolded the religious leaders because they didn't want the honor that only comes from God. No, no, they were content for fake honor that comes from men. You can read that in John 5, verse 44. When God the Father says, well done, it is an amazing honor reverberating throughout heaven.